Australia is tonight feeling the shame of the international sporting world, and it's all thanks to Victoria. Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and Dan Andrews has ruined it for everyone. Again. Welcome back. We are standing by for a snap press conference from Victorian Premier Dan Andrews. Exciting stuff for morning TV. So what can it be? Yeah, good morning, guys. That's a question on everyone's lips here in Melbourne this morning. This is a snap press conference. Righto. So when does it begin? Due to start any moment now, we will keep an eye on it. Meantime, let's listen to Nine's interview about gentle parenting. You've got, like, your board of directors in your brain. Board in my brain. And Seven's no better. So there's a 24-year-old independent muso based out of Chicago called Claude. And on his latest oh, Pete, album... Pete, Pete, sorry, we'll break into you there. We're going live to Dan Andrews now. About time, with Seven, Nine, Sky and the ABC all rushing to taste the thrill of Dan Live. And when he finally did speak, what was the snap news? The 2026 Commonwealth Games, they've been scrapped, citing ballooning costs for the cancellation. All oh, the lights aren't happy about it. Nor was Queensland Korea Mail. Killer of dreams. And in the Herald Sun, a cartoon of Dan about to pull the trigger. While on Sky, the TV pundits were playing another round of Slam Dan. What an embarrassment for this country. When did the Andrews government ever care about how much something cost? And according to man-child Caleb Bond, it's no wonder Victoria can't shell out for the event. Basically everything else in the state is free. Take a look at the stuff that last year Daniel Andrews made free. Tampons. Yes, tampons sank the Commonwealth Games. I mean, this is humiliating, it's depressing, it's embarrassing. It sure is. But don't dream it's over. Within minutes, the Daily Telly was tweeting, New South Wales set to swoop after Victoria scraps Commonwealth Games. And that proved to be total nonsense. Would you be interested in some way hosting the Games? No. Great. Why? Why? <laughs> but Perth Mayor Basil Zemplis reckons it's a golden opportunity for the West. And he's got support from one heavy hitter. WA, you're not the first person to have this idea. The current Premier doesn't like it so much, so be your persuasive self, Peter Beattie. How could you resist? Well, that was an anticlimax because Peter Beattie is just uh, frozen on screen there. So, was the rest of the Empire up in arms? Uh, no. Not a thing on the front of the British dailies and uh, not a single mention on the BBC's flagship 10 o'clock news. And Canada's The National was more focused on covering a rogue moose in a pickup truck. Ah. And what about the new empire, which in 2010 hosted the Commonwealth Games at a record cost of six billion bucks? Here's India's DD, primetime news. Yes, blink and you'll miss it. A fleeting mention on their ticker. But not all is lost. Brisbane's 1982 Commonwealth Games gave us Matilda the Kangaroo, helping inspire the name of our national women's football team. And it's football we're all talking about. Let the games begin, our Matildas, to kick off the Women's World Cup. Yes, forget the Commonwealth Games. We've got a real global sporting event right here, right now. I am worried about our first game in terms of Ireland. Yeah. because It's their first World Cup and they've got something to really... Pr you're being really pleasant. That translates you? to go Matildas! <laughs>